Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, today I have come up with a very amazing problem. It is a typical J advanced type of problem. And by the way, it is uh, original one. It is a strain central force. So guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And my un uh, upcoming courses on Unacademy will be uh, solid and fluid mechanics and thermodynamics. These are advanced level courses which will cover advanced plus plus uh, uh, syllabus and these courses will start from uh, 4th or 5th January uh, 2021 so tune in for these uh, timings and uh, uh, schedule for this these batches and you can unlock a uh, lot of uh, free courses on an academy using my code Nitin sir so if you want to access my uh, courses or test series or papers you can use this code whenever they will ask. They, they are uh, completely free of cost. For more info, you can uh, visit uh, www.unacademy.com and uh, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is the statement of this uh, problem. A particle of mass M0 is moving in a circle of radius R0 under the influence of a strange central force which is always pointing towards an unknown fixed point P in a space. It is given that the ratio of maximum to minimum speed of particle in the circular path is K0. The minimum speed of particle in the circular path is V0. Based on the information, uh, answer the following. Uh, number one is locate the unknown point in the space. And uh, number two is the average speed of particle in one complete rotation. And number three, time period of motion of the particle. So it is uh, original. So let's discuss the concept part of this. So there are certain uh, points related to, to central force. So you must keep those points in mind. So number one is since particle is moving in a closed trajectory, so it can be circular or it can be elliptical also, then point P must lie within the circular boundary. Otherwise, force cannot provide the necessary centripetal force required for a closed trajectory. So this is number one point. So definitely we are sure that this point is going to be somewhere within the circle boundary. We don't know where exactly it will be. Number two, all central forces are conservative in nature. All means all. Curl of any central force is going to be zero. Uh, in uh, work power energy, topic of uh, uh, extra classes or special classes in an academy, you can find information related to curl. For those who don't know, those who know, it's, uh, uh, it's perfectly all right. Number three, angular momentum of particle must be conserved about point P. So wherever this force will be pointing about that point, its uh, angular momentum must be conserved. So this point, everywhere it is pointing towards P and particle is moving in the circle. So nature of this force is a little different. So, But these situations are somewhat uh, similar to your uh, gravitation uh, elliptical orbits those kind of uh, problems and number four the particles velocity will be maximum at the nearest point of p and the minimum will be at far away point of p that that we can uh, comment simply by using conservation of energy because uh, the central force must be attractive in nature so potential energy term will be negative and by conserving uh, conserving energy and angular momentum we can comment on these points so this is the situation here you can see I'm assuming this point P is at a distance of X from the center of the sphere, uh, center of the circle. Radius of this is R. So uh, the far away point here uh, we can say that is going to be R plus X and the nearest point is going to be R minus X. V max I'm calling as uh, uh, K V naught you can say or uh, now here we can say just V0. Minimum is given as V0. So this can be V0 and this is KV0. I took it as V1, V2. So if we conserve angular momentum about P, so I can write MV max by R minus uh, times R minus X. That must be equal to MV2 times uh, R plus X and that must be equal to the angular momentum. All right. So from here, r minus x value i'm getting as l by mv1 and from here i'll get this r plus x as l by mv2 so let's add these two equations we are going to get 2r is equal to 1 by, uh, l by m times 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 when we simplify that 
वी गेट एंग्लो मोमेंटम वैल्यू एस टू एम वी वन वी टू आर वाई वी वन प्लस वी टू ऑल राइट सो इफ आई सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ एंग्लोर मोमेंटम इन वन ऑफ द इक्वेशन गिवन हियर सो आई एल बी गेटिंग दिस द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स आई एम राइटिंग इट एज x is equal to x i'm taking this side and l by mv1 i'm bringing this side so r minus l by mv1 so l by mv1 you can see from here that is going to be 2v2 r by v1 plus v2 so r minus 2v2 r divided by v1 plus v2 so i'm getting this x as v1 minus v2 times r divided by v1 plus v2 so in terms of k i can write this as uh, v1 by v2 is k so x is going to be k minus 1 by k plus 1 and that is equal uh, times r this is the location of that point p it will be lying within the uh, circle at a distance of x from the center of it now rate of change of area so in these uh, central forces always uh, you can see the rate of change of area will be constant because angular momentum is constant so i hope you remember that derivation from the gravitation topic so it's a it is in general true so da by dt the rate of change of area i can write it is l by 2m so this l by 2m value i can substitute from here it is going to be v1 v2 r by v1 plus v2 and the best part here is since it is a constant i can simply write it as total area pi r square divided by time taken when i simplify this i am going to get this uh, time of uh, uh, one complete rotation it is going to be pi r k plus 1 by k v not this is the answer for third part this is going to be the answer for third part so now uh, it's a very simple last part is average speed it is going to be total distance by total time in one time period or in one rotation so total distance is going to be 2 pi r and divided by time t so average speed i am going to get 2k by k plus 1 times v not this is going to be the final answer all three part are parts are sorted out here so it's a very nice application and very simple one also yet tricky challenging also you can say uh, but i'm sure many of you will be able to solve it so i give this as a challenge to my students and uh, one of them uh, one of one of the student gave the answer very quickly i i think i shared around uh, this problem around 2 am so those guys were awake and uh, one guy gave the answer very quickly the for the first part so i think after that if you use little bit uh, some more logic you can reach to the remaining two parts as well so let me know in the comment section if you get the answer for uh, uh, all three parts and finally the challenge part is you need to find the expression of this strange force or central force as a function of radial distance of r from point p so you need to find out the form of that uh, force f as a function of r so leave your comments uh, uh, in the comment section all right so this is it in this video i'll be coming up uh, very soon with another video and also some update about the new courses will be there and uh, in the in the afternoon yesterday uh, i have made a video on unacademy combat so i'll request all of you to participate in large numbers bring your friends also and uh, see uh, where do you perform or where do you stand in a group of uh, students all kind of students will be there so it will be really a good uh, way of interacting or checking your preparation level so thanks for watching the video